Hi, I'm Val from Motion Boutique and welcome to this tutorial for Polyline. Polyline is a plugin that creates 3D strips based on an object motion path. So I'm going to show you the very basics of Polyline. First, I need to create a new composition. Then I need to create a motion path. So I'm going to use another object which is very simple, the basic. I'm going to turn it into a 3D object and I'm going to animate it. So now I have my motion path we don't need to take care if it's Bezier or linear or linear motion path because Polyline is going only going to use the keyframe. So I'm going to add my plugin. I'm going to make it a little wider and I'm just going to hit create. Ta -da! You have your first Polyline. So um, what can I do with that? I can move the segments using the null object. And of course you can animate them. So I can reshape my polyline. And I can also um, rotate my segment. To do this, I can do this with uh, the rotation tool in the viewer because everything goes crazy. No, I have to do this using the rotation of the segment in X. So you have to take care of the, don't add too much rotation because you will have a uh, strange uh, deformation, deformation that are totally understandable. Voila, that's the very basics of Polyline. So here is a basic example of what you can do with Polyline. I'd like to have a line that goes between all those silhouettes. So what I'm going to do, um, well, I already have the uh, a null object with a motion path. You can see some uh, keyframe here. And um, of course, this new object is in 3D. And I'm going to create a polyline. We just need to apply the effect polyline on my uh, new object. I'm going to make it wider and just click create. So I'm going to choose the camera. And here it is. What did the plugin create? You can see that Polyline has created um, some null object here and segments. Segments are, in fact, a precomposition that are based on a larger one. And here I have all my segments with solid colored layers. The new objects are used to um, move the polyline. So if I want to, I can move and reshape my polyline. It's nice, but I like to reveal my polyline. So I'm going to undo all this and create a new one. And 
Here you have an option, you can reveal the polyline. And also I can change the color. I can well make it just like a single a single color or a gradient, U shift, random, and here is some um, theme that you can use. So I'm going to choose uh, one, Granny Smith, for example. And I have the reveal animation. Hit create. Okay, that's nice. Pretty simple. Also, I can change the ori orientation of my lines, of my strips. Basically, I just need to uh, use the rotation, X rotation. Okay, so now let's see how I've done the abstract path you've seen in the video. So I have my path here, and it's a 3D path um, based on another object. So I'm going to add my polyline effect here, and I'm going to make, going to make it wider, and hit, hit create. So you can see here that, um, well, the, um, all the segments are created on the same plan, so I need to rotate them. So to do this, just select the, the se your segment and change the rotation on the parameters of the timeline, not in the, com in the viewer, because if you do this, it will go crazy. So only here. Okay, that looks great. Maybe a little rotation here too. And to this segment too. Okay, nice. Uh, now let's make, um, well, I have the, the camera that moves. But the polyline is doesn't have the animation. So let's go inside the past precomp. We are going to remove everything here. I'm going to create a new solid. Let's make it smaller. Okay. Let's reveal it using linear wipe. Okay, I'm going to duplicate three times to zoom in a little bit here and the other one will be here. I'm going to change it to be a little bit smaller. Okay. So let's change the color to Okay. So now I have my lines and I uh, and I have to sequence them a little. Okay, let's see. Great. Now let's have a look. Okay, that's nice. But if you look closely, we have some issue here. There are some segments that are flipped and need to be reversed. There's some line that are um, pink and then turn purple. So we need to flip those segments.
Okay. And that's okay. That's way better now. As you can see, this is really simple to achieve. So what about close path? This time I have this null object that describe a circle. And I'm going to add my polyline effect, make it wider. And I'm also going to enable the close path option. So now I'm going to click create. And now I have my polyline, but in fact, I like to have my circle on another plan, on XZ plan. So I'm going to rotate this polyline. To do that, I'm going to create another null object, a 3D one. And I'm going to link all the null object that Polyline has created to that new one. And I'm going to rotate it. And now I can remove it. So now I have my circle, which is a closed path. And of course I can move my objects. Maybe I can create like something like a star. So I'm going to create another null object. And I'm going to select every two null object and I'm going to link them to that null object in the center and scale it. And you've got a star now. And of course, you can rotate the segment. I'm going to switch the lights on. And voila!